everyone welcome to my little youtube channel here um i'm just going to show you guys how to download and use the pose player along with the teleporter it's extremely easy it is not that bad um i will put the links to the mods down in the description box let's just get into the video you are going to go to andrew studio pose player and you're going to download this and you are also going to scroll down a little bit further and find the teleport any sim and you are going to download that as well just throw it onto your desktop and extract those files boom easy magic and you're going to put them into your mods folder if you don't know where this folder is typically it, you would go to your documents electronic arts the sims 4 and then mods and you're just going to throw them in there and before you end up opening up your sims game Go and find yourself some sims packs. Um, I love getting packs from Tree Butterfly, that's usually who I prefer, but there are so many amazing content creators out there. Just find yourself some pose packs and then throw those in there. You can also name a folder poses and put poses in there as well, uh, so it stays a little bit more organized. So you're going to open your game, go to build mode and find the sim teleporter, and you are going to place it down. Now this is important because if you have one sim, you'll place down one. If you have two, you're going to place down two directly on top of each other. If you have three, place down three directly on top of each other, etc. This is what happens when you don't put them directly on top of each other. It looks like they've never been to any boy-girl dance ever. This is the awkwardness they've had in the eighth grade. Awful times, don't do this. <laughs> so what you're going to do is place down your teleporters and you are going to teleport the sim there. You can summon sims from around the world. We are just teleporting the family. And this looks weird, but it's perfect. Trust me. You are going to click on the sim and in the menu it says pose by pack. Click on pose by pack and you know, you downloaded those pose packs and they're all gonna show up in this menu. You're just gonna select whichever one you want. I'm gonna click on the wedding one and choose a pose from here. You can see it's a couple's pose, so it tells you whoever can go where, it doesn't matter who. And you can also see who you're selecting, so when you have the menu open, it shows on the top left which sim you have selected, which is nice. And so you're going to pick all of them, you're going to play your game for a second so it goes, and pause it. When they're in their pose, they'll stay, but when you haven't posed them yet, they start to move around a lot. So you have a couple of options here for taking photos that you can... You know, go to your cheat bar and type in headline effects space off. Get rid of the plumb bob and, you know, print screen, take a photo of them for thumbnails, all of those things. That's option one. I sometimes use that. There's option two where you can buy a tripod camera and have like a family member take a photo or find a random sim, add them to your family. The only thing that I don't like about that is it's a hassle. You know, depending on their skill level, the photos can turn out poor. My favorite method is this camera that I downloaded. Um, I believe it's called the ISO Love Camera, um, but it's called Full Control Camera in the Build By. And basically, this is a camera that you can place down and your sim can take photos. You can take photos of your own sims without needing another one to help you. You can fully control this um, outside of build mode. But you can see here, I'm just going to click on the camera and look at the inventory. There's nothing in the inventory. Click on take photo. You have a lot of control with it. You can spin it around, um, you can lower it, you can raise it all the way up, you can change the sizes. It can be a small photo, medium, large. It is exactly like a regular camera and it helps out so much. And the best part of this is in her inventory and it's outstanding. Every photo you take with it will be an outstanding photo. You can drag it, put it on walls, all those things, just like a regular photo. It's honestly one of the best things that I started using. If there's anything else that you'd like to learn, please let me know. Otherwise, I do have some tips and tricks here on my channel. If you'd like to check that out, I also have some builds and stuff as my YouTube shorts. But otherwise, have a good one. Take care of yourself. Okay, goodbye!